Okay, I'd like to welcome the next speaker, uh, Riverside Resources. It's gold, silver, copper, prospect generator, although a hybrid one, uh, with numerous projects in Canada and Mexico. They have 74 million shares outstanding, market cap of 10.5 million, uh, and about 5 million in the company treasury. They trade on their TSX venture under the symbol RRI, and Frankfurt under uh, 5YY. I'd like to welcome President uh, and CEO Jean-Marc uh, Staud. Is it Staud de or Staud? Staud. I get to actually say it correctly here, unlike in the United States. In the United States, uh, we say it differently, but great to be here. This is the first time I've had a chance to come here, and I really appreciate it. Also, it's great to be here, and really thank you to Kai. Thank you so much to the organization here. It's great. Um, appreciate that very much. Riverside, I'm the CEO, founder of the company, and a forward-looking statement. We're a royalty company. We're a project generator company. We've generated projects in multiple jurisdictions, operated for the last 17 years. We use partner funding. Right now, we have drilling going with Fortuna Mining. That, for you as investors, helps you because major companies have done their due diligence, and they are fully funding the work. Prior, we were working with BHP, where myself, I used to work for a decade. We work with major companies fully funding the work. So as a shareholder in Riverside, you're exposed to multiple jurisdictions, multiple projects using OPM, other people's money. Our strategy has been to create royalties, not buy them, to own key land, to acquire land, and then have partners de-risk those projects. As we've de-risked those projects, over time, we've been able to create new businesses. Over the last 17 years, we've created seven new businesses out of Riverside. And right now, the reason I came to this conference was to discuss the next one that we just put out in a news release. That'll be our eighth. So it's a wonderful time to get Riverside. Riverside, over the last 17 years, has had four times where the stock has gone up 5x. We're at that point again today. Myself, I'm buying more shares right now. I've continued to have shares. I've never sold a share in 17 years. We operate as an owner. Myself and our team own over 10% of the company, and we've made sure that we are always a part of each participation. We have a track record of success. We've been able to work on 80 projects, but only put out 75 million shares. So this morning we heard the speech by recently with Garrett talking about dilution. We have been against dilution. We also heard talk about debt. We have no debt. We have cash in the bank. We always have cash in the bank. So Riverside has a strong balance sheet with no warrants, no financings for the last four and a half years. We get income while selling projects that we generate. So we generate projects in multiple different jurisdictions multiple different commodities, but all of them with big scale. Myself, I have a PhD, worked on mineral economics, worked at major companies, Rio Tinto, BHP, doing very large projects. So what's important is big projects can have big discoveries. And so we work in Ontario. One of the key things we'll be talking about, and I welcome having meetings around the coffee or in a session here, is we work in Ontario where they're producing the most gold for all of Canada. We're also working on drilling right now. So you get immediate drill results from Fortuna Mining, and that'll be in Mexico at our Cecilia project. And we're also working on gold and rare earth elements in British Columbia, building up, taking advantage of the critical metals funding, taking advantage of the timing that we see China, we're seeing other parts of the world that are not allowing the access to rare earth elements. So Riverside, as a project generator, has been able to generate different projects, bundle them up. And so here I show you three different catalysts for Riverside. When you look at the share structure, you see 74 million shares, 75 million shares after 17 years. No rollbacks, really important. You see us having cash. $5 million cash, yet a market cap of only $10 million. So the enterprise value of low is low right now. And with these different catalysts coming, is a good opportunity. The reason I came here is European shareholder base. 40% of our holdings is here in Europe. 
We love to come here. I've been coming here multiple times every year. After this, I'll head down and visit with our shareholders this weekend in Zurich and in Geneva, going to their houses, working with them. We really appreciate that relationship. And here today, I welcome building that relationship with many of you as well. Please, I'd love to have those meetings. And with that type of relationship, we're glad to work as a shareholder. So right now, myself as the CEO, working with Freeman Smith, well, yesterday he was in minus 30 centigrade. That's cold. Out in the field, working, developing new projects in different places that come into the growth in Riverside's portfolio. Cruz Pies, right now I spoke with him this morning. He's on the drill rig. We're drilling right now in Mexico, and that's great. So we have this team that's working, and all of that is not being paid by you as shareholders. It's being paid by partners. That's what's special about Riverside. That's how Riverside's able to have a really good cash position. The reason we work in Ontario, Ontario, Canada is the biggest producer, produces over 46% of all the gold in Canada. So the biggest mines, the biggest production comes from Ontario, Canada, and Riverside has gotten support by the government there. The government gives us 50% back on what we're doing on some of our projects right now is a grant. The government there is allows to give us through financing structures where people can get a 40% discount when they do the work. So we as generators, generating from databases, generating from vast knowledge, building up that portfolio, developed a portfolio of three projects. Over the last five years, we've done the work, we've done the drilling, we've put that together. And you may notice the bottom of the slide, it has a different name. The bottom of the slide, it then says Blue Jay Resources. So I welcome you to come and meet and hear about why Riverside is talking about Blue Jay Resources. And what I, um, in this video, you can see a zoom in into the portion of Ontario where their big mine in the green areas are some of the areas that are green stone belts. Recently where Ross Beatty has built the fourth largest open pit gold mine in Canada, just been built right now. And we are adjacent to it. We were there before he bought it, before Equinox came and purchased for $600 million the land around us. And we own the land to the east and to the west in this belt. The Barrett Barrelton Greenstone Belt is a key belt. This is one, and with Riverside, this can go into this new venture of Blue Jay Resources that I put out a news release. And thanks to some of the shareholders here, help translate that into German. And so if you come and meet with me, have the tr German translation of that news release. But really for us, the Greenstone Gold Belt, the Greenstone Mine, where Ross Beatty Equinox Gold is becoming a million ounce year gold producer of low grade. And what did Peter McGaw, the, the discussion about Peter McGaw? Peter McGaw and I did our PhDs together at the University of Arizona, and it's wonderful. Grade is king. Riverside and Blue Jay has grade. We have ounces, not grams. Ounces are 30 times better than grams. So we have high grades in this region. So similar to what they're mining at Greenstone Gold, where they used to mine high grade and made it a large open pit gold mine, we have a portfolio of high grade projects. Those high grade projects are a really good thing to own. So owning Riverside. Rare earth elements are a critical future for Canada and for the Western world. Here in Germany, we see the challenge that are happening with China and what's going to happen with the United States. Owning rare earth elements is key, and so Riverside has been ahead of the curve, grabbing projects that are good. We also, in Mexico, have this portfolio with drilling in Cecilia Project. Drilling on these projects is good, it's catalyst coming. And here's a video I took just the other day. I flew the drone out here, and I'm there at the truck, at the white truck walking around. And here we are drilling. This was taken just this week, us out in the field. This type of work that's going funded with Fortuna Mining gives you a little glimpse, 
It's a lot warmer than it is out here today. When I was outside this morning and saw the bit of snow around and things here, and the guys are there working, and it's like, this is great. We really like working in the Sunshine Regions. So I come to the key, royalties. I founded the company 17 years ago. I was employed at the company BHP. We had found a new project in Mongolia, Ivanhoe Mines, the Oyutulgoy project. I was told to sell the royalty. I had to sell the royalty. I didn't want to. But after I sold the royalty, Robert Friedland and Ivanhoe Mines, when they took over the project, was then able to leverage off of that and grow and make the company. It had a stranglehold on it. I had the chance to work at BHP, the Resolution Copper Deposit. It wasn't called Resolution before. It was called Magma Porphyry. I was the geologist there. We had a chance for a royalty. That project is amazing value. So Riverside has grabbed projects. We grabbed projects for copper in Arizona, Sugarloaf Peak, and we helped create the company Copper Bank. We actually helped create the company Arizona Metals, and Riverside retained royalties. We helped create the company Silver Viper. We helped to create the company Faraday Copper, and we've kept royalties. Riverside has royalty with the world's largest silver producer, Fresneo. And we have a 2% net smelter royalty. So Riverside is a royalty company. Riverside gets royalties from these different projects. So in the next quarters, and what we'll see in Q1, we'll see drill results coming from Fortuna. We'll see in Ontario, the gold portfolio and potentially our intention, this next company. So you as a shareholder today, buying Riverside sets you up for these type of upsides without the dilution, without the cost, and a chance for a full portfolio. So I really welcome talking in detail. I have here some of the presentation materials. Glad to go over it with you. Really great. In British Columbia, good jurisdiction. We have gold, rare earth elements. That gives diversification of commodity, portfolio. For you as an investor, you see, we're not going back to you. We're using the government subsidy, government money, where we don't have debt, where we are positioned to take advantage. And lastly, on copper, copper projects. We built out a large copper portfolio for BHP. They invested over $11 million, and then they reorganized. I found that when I was working there, we kept reorganizing. And so I found if we made a company that doesn't reorganize but takes advantage of that as Riverside, when those major companies reorganize, we have been able to hold the assets. So we hold those assets. And I welcome talking to you about Riverside. I recommend right now was a good time to buy. I recently bought more and I'm continuing to buy more. And the news that we just put out last week about the transaction of Riverside forming this new portfolio, putting it together into Blue Jay is the first step into something that would be very exciting. It's a good time to be a Riverside shareholder. Thank you, I welcome any questions. Any questions so far? Yeah, one in the back. Yes, so Riverside's actually has given dividends in the past and we're planning toward that again. Now, we don't pay cash dividends. What we do is share structured transactions where we give shares. So I am the chairman of Capitan Mining. Capitan Mining was given to us as shareholders. It's a great question because what happened is when we announced that we were doing this, the shares went up 4x. And Capitan went public then. And after it went public, it then went up 3x on top of that. So you as a shareholder in Riverside today would own portions of things that we could do that. So yeah, we have done that. So we don't pay a cash dividend, but by doing a share dividend in most jurisdictions, that's not taxable. So that means you can hold it. So it's really structured the way it should be for owners because I'm a big owner. And how can we as my family and all of us, and particularly having such a strong European shareholder base, make sure that everyone makes money and really focus on that. That's how we've been able to go for over a decade and a half. 
question. I, I see your share is uh, right about uh, 14 cents. Uh, why is it so low? I think really people like excitement. They don't like boring. People want to see things that are, everyone's going for the moon. And when they miss, they crash. And we haven't crashed. So most of the people in the United States want to see people that are financing and big promotion. We're owners. We have consistently put forth the money to build relationships and to own it. So right now we're low, and I think it's a great opportunity. And each time we've done this four times, where we've had five Xs. So the reason it's low right now is people are waiting. People are on the sidelines. People are saying it's dead money. But the news release that I put out say that we're doing this, that we've been doing it. We've done seven times, helped create new companies. It's not like we haven't done it. So the reason it's low right now is boring, and people are waiting. And as soon as we announce that we're doing this, then everyone piles in. It's, this is on sale right now. It's a really good opportunity. We have no debt. We're not doing any financings. So people are jumping onto things that are more active. But as I say, we have drill results and other things happening right now. OK, it's time. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thanks. Thank you.